There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Come on, stop, folks. What's going on? Obrigado as far as watching my video. If you don't know what obrigado means, look it up. Today I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give another hard-hitting video that you can't say I'm lying about. Well, you can say it, don't mean it's true. Today I'm talking about how black folks will vote for everybody else's rights but their own. So, this, so let's, let's ride on this adventure. I'm going to talk about how you know, all this cooning and buffoonery about black people how they coon a buffoon for their homosexual agenda, you know. Yet at the same time, they ignore whenever the Supreme Court, you know, struck down sections four and five of the Civil Rights Voting Act, which really will affect people maybe down in the southern states. It may not, it, but they struck it down as something you should be worried about, alerted to at least. But I'm going to show you how you coons and buffoons, as always, ruin it for the rest of us. But how how you get Rachel Maddow and fucking Al Sharpton, a reverence by the way, supporting this. How Jesse Jackson, a reverend by the way, supporting this. These guys aren't reverend. These guys are these these are people are sending you to hell. But I digress because you don't give a shit. So let's go in. You know this isn't like a coincidence. For years and eons, there's been a minority groups. But I mean minority. I don't mean about race. I mean minority as far as maybe some extremist people who are looked upon as negative but come to the black community for help and, and as black people we are the biggest we are the biggest bleeding heart liberals. We're worse than a liberal white people. We are the biggest bleeders, you know, when it comes to touch heart strings. Cause you, you hear it all the time, well, the, here's how they catch us off guard. Well, they don't catch us off guard. This is, this is what they do. They say, well, you were slaves once. Other than that, you're going to open the checkbook. You'll vote. Look, man, you got to vote yourself to go to hell if somebody came and told you we, you know, we were slaves once. And that's how they get you. And then what happens is the DNC, if they're supporting this issue, they'll come back and they'll, they'll send their handlers in the community to talk to community leaders. And then what they do, they, they get the community leaders to get you to pair it. And I mean, when I mean pair, you guys go word, literally for word with this shit the DNC throws at you. I mean, you, like, and the so-called leaders don't bang the drum for your civil rights. Like, you guys came out in droves for them Obama phones. You guys will come out in droves for them, like, spending welfare cards illegally whenever they shut them off. But whenever it comes to this, you, uh, there's no hide their hair. And then what I hear is, well, I never knew about this. Yeah, you don't, because you don't give a shit about your own life. Why should you give a shit to someone who won't? You don't give a shit about something that affects your kids. And that's 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 the worst part about that I feel. Like when I talk about stuff, this stuff is gonna affect my kids, gonna affect my kids' kids, and so forth. But thanks to you, no good Nick motherfuckers, it's just another day in the office. The cooner of a fruity will never end with you, motherfuckers. That's why. That's why. I, that's why I don't make. I'm. This is another. I'm saying it again. This is why I don't make black specific videos. It's about it. I'd say about 60 to 80 percent were worried about some buffoonery and coonery. Don't believe me? Go to your Facebook. Everybody's a model. Everybody's a hustler. Go look at it. Even though most of these groups are against the grain and have conflicting policies than what you do, they even have conflicting philosophies. You'll still vote for them because they, they give you the old heart strength. Well, remember when you were guys were slaves once? Well, my God, what the hell? But when they come to blacks like myself and others, we're like, I got shit to do with it. They're gonna be on, look, man. Here's here's how here's how much I don't respect some of you motherfuckers. There could be a, a child rapist, and if he can't even say, well, you were slave once, you guys will say, oh, we feel sorry for you. Go ahead and do what you keep doing. That's how low it's become with you people. You know, it's like, you know how it feels that you just want to taste of someone being equal. And what you guys say, well, we've been held down too, so we know what it's like, so we'll vote for you. I ain't voting for you. Uh, or they say, well, they want the same rights as us. Well, oh, isn't that cute? You want the same rights as me. FYI, people, a, a gay white man has the same rights as you. 
and has more because most of them stay in the closet. Like, here's another thing that really kills me about the. How can I? I'm not afraid to so it sticks in your head about the lie. Yes, so they're thinking about the lies they tell you about the civil rights movement. They tell you guys they were with us in the civil rights movement. Now let me tell you something. If they find, look what they did to the white guy that was Jewish down in Mississippi with the other the two black guys. What was the one? Was the movie based off of Mississippi Burning? Well, then again, you guys don't read, so I got to draw it out for you. But anyway, if the, if there was a homosexual in that group, a white homosexual. Let me tell you something. Them good old boys down there. Trust me, I talked to a lot of them. Those of them that hate me and I don't really like fucking them. They would fucking hop on their ass. Uh, a gay white male before they hop on my ass. You wanna know why? Because even though they may have fucked up views about black people, they take that gay thing by the book, by their by the Bible, and they hop on their ass first. I, this is a fact. If they hop on that Jewish guy's ass, they'll hop on a gay guy, a gay man's ass first, then come back to us. That's why they were. That's why if they were with us in the movement, they were in office up in New York, Boston, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Chicago. The motherfuckers were not. If, if they were marching, they weren't fucking marching in full glory. They were marching like they, they watched like everybody else. But yet they tell you that and they romanticize the story. And here we go. I'll, I'll, I'll vote for their rights. Well, what about your rights? I don't need any rights. So they'll help us out. That's another thing. Now I come to the part that's really gonna make me mad that a lot of you ignorant motherfuckers do. You vote for their rights. But when uh, these sections of the Supreme Court of the Civil Rights Bill, four or five, and like and a side note, all this stuff I'm saying, you lazy ass can easily look it up. That way I don't have to hear a little see a little nasty grams in the comments section. You may not like the way the message is, but it's the truth. So I don't wanna see any little nasty grams in the comments section. If you, if you do, I know you didn't look this shit up. Back to the original program. But, the sections three and four, when they got struck down, where were these same homosexuals? Where was the DNC? Where was a lot of these groups that you guys support? Where were they at? Fuck, where was Al Sharpton and fucking Jesse Jackson at? You know what, they weren't anywhere because this, this flew under the radar. I just happened to catch it because I was, I was reading something and I happened to catch it and I did my research on it. But a lot of you guys don't give a shit. And I hear, I'm back to this point. It all boils down to what you care about in life. And right now, as a whole, we got some fucked up priorities. You give a fuck about trying to be a Facebook model or trying to be some fucking Facebook hustler knowing that y'all none of y'all got a job. Right now, I'm making this video in February. It's cuffing season right now. And for all y'all don't know what cuffing season is, it's when these lame ass dudes Get with these fucking chicks that have fucking 20 kids, they know they're getting a big check. And once that check's gone, these dudes is gone. That's cuffing season. And usually the chick is usually ugly, by the way, just an FYI side note. But until you we can get our until we get like like and all these old leaders, they're not they're 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 preaching the same thing they preached fucking 50 years ago. You know, they're not saying anything new. Jesse Jackson, which if you can conceive, you can achieve. Wow, mind blowing. Al Sharpton, he'll say anything you want him to say, you give him a couple bucks. He sold out, because let me put it this way he's a reverend, right? He's working on the side of homosexual, right? And there's no conflict right there, there's no conflict of interest between his religion and her. And he's a full time reverend, too. This thing you gotta ask yourself. That's why I, I, that's why I admire the people in Chicago. Shout out to all my people, my relatives in Chicago, by the way. I admire what they did. When Al Sharpton came up there and he said, um, well, there's a little, I'm sorry, I just got sidetracked. I was, I was talking, this is what I was talking about before. But when Sharpton came up there, he, he blamed the usual guns, this, that, and the third. You know, you know the, what the liberal program, you know what the game plan is. But what, what, what I admire about these African American black people in Chicago, what they did is, they said, hold up. The problem is not the guns, the problem is not the gangbangers. The problem is there's a lack of jobs. The problem is there's a lack of opportunities. There's a lack of upward mobility and then where we're at. The problem is that all the, all the money starts at the top and stays at the top. The schools are closing. You got the National Guard probably in there, like which I predicted, one of the first ones to predict, by the way, check the videos out. And people are just finally fed up with it, you know? 
you can t- let me put it this way: you can take all the guns away you want. The motherfuckers don't have jobs. Don't eat. Don't go. Don't go straight. Scratch, claw, and stab their way to get what they have to get. The gun is just a weapon. You, we gonna do band knives? Are we gonna do cut your fucking hands and feet off? People will do what they have to do to get what they want or get what they need. And this is what people did. Al Sharpton, he cooned. He, he jumped the ball. That's why some of you so called leaders, a lot of you, that's why a lot of you YouTube so called personalities, a lot of you YouTube, whatever you guys want to call yourselves, that's why a lot of you guys fell off. You want to know why? Because people were just, people were sick of hearing your talk. That's why when I hear people talk this, oh, we need to go back to Africa. Motherfucker, you ain't left the West Side yet. How the fuck you going back to Africa and you ain't left yet? Like I said, when I see some of you guys leave, then I might try to believe you. And I don't, let me give you, give, give you another example. There's people who go over there and you guys come back. Want to lie? Because you know the real deal over there. You guys can't make in the States. The fuck you going to do over in Africa, which doesn't have half the shit we have over here? I'm just saying, if you rely on the government for your shit now, and you rely, if you rely on that government, you don't have to join a fucking militia and get a machete and start hacking motherfuckers up. That's all there is to it. But you can't tell no you motherfuckers. I'm going to lie. Because you don't care until it affects you. I'm like, take care of the shit now before it affects you. But I'm done talking because I told somebody I would give them this video and I went a little in depth. depth. And at the same time, I showed you a lot of stuff. Damn, that there, that's it. That's him.